Hey guys, so in my last video, I told you I was going to do an accessory haul, so I have shoes, scarves, and belts in this video. And then I have a jewelry haul, which I was going to include in this video, but I think it's just too much and it's going to be too long of a video. So I'm just going to show you um, the accessory stuff that I picked up from H&M, J.Crew, Online, and Target. So I'll start with the shoes. I found these shoes, um, where did I get these shoes? I think I found them on Z Zappos or maybe directly from the Steve Madden website, but they're basically like a T-strap pump. They're by Steve Madden. I think they were $50, I think. Definitely under $100. Um, they have like a huge platform, so it makes the, you know, four and a half inch heel a lot more manageable. Um, and they're like a fake suede material. And then they have an adjustable strap around your ankle. So I absolutely love these. I wore these, um, I went down to Atlantic City and I wore these actually with the polka dot dress that I showed you in my Old Navy haul last, in my clothing haul which was the last video and I the polka dot dress from Old Navy is what I wore these pumps with and I thought they were super classic and cute and I can't wait to wear these like with skinny jeans or even just like a nice skirt um really like kind of fancy nice evening shoe definitely not a shoe I would wear for work it's one too high and two I just don't think it's very office appropriate but they're really really cute so I like those and then at Target, I picked up these really cute flats, and they were so affordable. They were $14.99. They are the Poeski flats. And um, just a disclaimer, these kind of run really big. I'm usually like an 8.5, 9, and I had to get an 8 in these. So if you're going to order these online, I would size down. Um, they're just a plain black T-strap pump. <laughs> they're not a pump. They're a flat. A T-strap flat, more like a sandal. Um, and they just have this like fancy cute little gold bar. They're fancy and like stylish, but they're classic and very simple at the same time. I have been wearing these a lot for work. I wore these, um, I wear these on the weekends like with shorts, with skinny jeans. I have these in an outfit of the day coming up. I wore these with the snake skin print pants that I got from H&M. These shoes come in teal, magenta, and beige or white. I think it was white. I tried them on and I just thought these are just going to get so dirty so quick. So I didn't even bother with them. But you guys know how much I love the black sandals that I always, I don't like, I don't even know what is going on right now. Like what am I, what am I saying? The gold sandals that I've been wearing in like the last freaking three outfit of the days that I posted, I had the same gold sandals on and I'm literally running them into the ground. So I wanted to get a similar pair. And so I picked these up and, um, I really like them. They're super cushiony, like feel very plush on your feet. Um, they kind of like make an air sound when you're walking, which is kind of funny. But I only noticed that like the first time that I wore these and then they were fine. They're by the brand Massimo and my washing machine's going again, so you're probably gonna hear that. And I'm sorry if that's distracting. But that is these and I really, really like them. Like I said, for $14.99, you really can't beat that. Okay, uh, J. Crew was having a sale and I've been wanting to get a like chartreuse kind of mustardy yellow belt for the fall. And so I picked up this one from J. Crew. It was $34.50 and then I, I think it was an additional 30% off. And it's just a basic um, skinny belt. It has this kind of buckle. And they have this same belt in a lot of different colors, but I really just went on a hunt f online for like this color belt. And when I saw it on sale at J. Crew, I thought I definitely can't pass it up, especially because the quality of these, of J. Crew belts in general, is super good and I'll have it for a really long time. Um, but I really like this and I got it in the medium. So it should fit me pretty well. And it gives you seven different little belt holes. Um, so I love this. If you need like a really nice colorful belt, I think it even came in black. So it's just a really nice belt and I have to say like it's very, um, what do you, what word do you call this? Moldable? Malleable? It's very, it's very soft to the point where if you, you know, have it on a, a certain hole all day, it's not going to put a crease in the belt or bend or go bad. So I like that. And then I also picked up a... Another belt from J. Crew. Saw this one online and it wasn't on sale. I think it was $68, but it's a really nice quality belt um, and it's one that I'll have forever and it's one that I can wear with basically anything. It's a, it's a really wide belt, but it's a double loop. 
So it's nice for those like really um, kind of like baggy, not baggy, but like the flowy blouse type dresses or like the dresses that you just kind of want to give yourself more of a figure to or you just want to like accessorize a little bit. This is like the perfect belt for that. Um, so basically it's like a saddle brown color wide all the way around and then it has the two belt buckles at the front. So it looks like that and I'm trying to see if there's anything else on here. No. Like I said, it was $68 and I don't think that that's crazy. I mean, I'm not somebody that buys belts very often. Hence, when I do, I invest in a nice one so that I'll have it for a long time and I won't need to buy another one. Um, I pick up like trendy color belts here and there, but like a good like belt that I can rely on that's gonna hold up to the test of time and be nice, um, I don't mind spending a little bit extra for. So, And I thought the brown color was really nice because typically when I accessorize my dresses and like flowy shirts, um, I don't wear black belts with it just because I feel like I'm usually tying in some kind of color with that or with an accessory or something and I just feel like the brown is more versatile and goes with more. And the last two things that I got from H&M, they were the two scarves that I had mentioned. This first one um, is so, so pretty and it's it was $12.95. Doesn't really have a name, but it's um, a perfect square. Well, obviously, it has a little bit of fringe on the end but it's so pretty. It's it's a little bit more reminiscent to me of like spring or summer, but it has like the maroon dark colors in it and some really light like turquoisey minty green colors with some pretty flowers and yellow. And um, I just couldn't pass this up. It's very lightweight. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of sheer for the most part. I had actually walked past a scarf like this identically to this in J. Crew. Um, but I wasn't really shopping for scarves, nor did I need it. And then when I found this one at H&M, I thought this one's probably way more affordable than the one at J. Crew, and um, for something trendy like an accessory like this, I don't, I don't want to spend too much. So I really like this, and like I said, it's a square, so you can do a lot with it. You know, if you just want to kind of bunch it at the top and swing it over your neck or fold it in kind of like the cowgirl bandana type, you can do that. So I love these. H&M has a really nice selection of scarves right now for the fall. And then this, oh my god, I am so freaking excited about this. When I saw, I first saw the color and that's what drove me over there. And then when I got to actually touch this scarf, I was just like blown away. And it's this gorgeous like chiffon mint color. And if anybody has ever seen the movie or read the book Confessions of a Shopaholic, you might know what I'm talking about here but I feel like as soon as I pick this up it just reminded me of the scarf in the movie and in the book the girl like they always reference the girl with the green scarf and there was this I think it was an Hermes scarf or something but it was this green scarf that basically the whole darn book was based around and I don't know when I picked up this one I just, for some reason I just thought of that like confessions of a shopaholic but it's so pretty. I just love the color of it. You guys know I'm like a mint fanatic. Like I love anything and everything mint. And um, it has this like really pretty ribbing detail and it's pretty wide and long. So this is how wide it is. And then let me just show you the length. So here's one end and then that's the other end. So it's like, it's really, really, really long. This is it like quadrupled. But, and it's very, um, it's very lightweight and it's like kind of bouncy. It's almost like it has that ribbing material, but you can like kind of stretch it out and it retains its shape and it's just so pretty. And I just thought it would like dress up any outfit, you know, take it, kick it up a notch. And it's just such like a feminine, very, very feminine scarf. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's so light and it just feels really nice. has a really nice texture to it and um, the color. I just could not get over the color. They also had this scarf in um, like a white, like a whitey beige. They had it in a yellow and also in a peach, but I just could not pass up the mint color. So if you are anywhere near an H&M and you are a fan of the crazed mint, then I suggest you run out and grab this because it's so pretty. And this one, I've already worn it, so I don't have the tag on it anymore, but I believe this one was $12.95 too, so super, super great price on it. And you, with such a long scarf, like you can just do so much with this. So I love this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this small little accessory haul. I will put links to everything below if I can find them or if I can find something really similar to it. But thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.